Uh, the game's just getting started. Now that we're out in the open world, we're actually getting into the real story now. Uh, since the initial party, anyway, has met each other. You remember a town? It might be the town that we're going to after the cavern. Um, because we go through the cavern, we go to a town. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get going. I think level 7 we should be fine in here. Um, because when we got to the cavern we were, like, level 2. And the monsters outside were fucking us up. But I think we'll be fine now. First time you play, you got stuck after the forest. Hmm. So, <laughs> this side, you should do what we did here yesterday, or the day before. Um, go to the north gate. You can buy potions. And I bought literally, like, 60 potions. So, I think we're good. I did, before the stream started, I used our tent to get everybody fully healed and manned up. And I saved. Uh, but we don't have any more tents. And I think we maybe have, like, two Phoenix Downs. So, we got to, uh, we got to try and stay alive. But anyway, this must be the cavern. No shit. Also, let me know if it's too loud or too quiet. I did turn the game down a little bit. Just a hair, though. Thank you for the hydrate and stretch. We literally just started. And I also just had some water. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, what's up, Vivi? Have you ever heard of the Ice Cavern? Sure. Is this the place? I think so. It's supposed to be near Evil Forest. I've heard of it. It's supposed to be a beautiful place covered in ice. My grandpa told me about this place. He said the cavern takes travelers to the top of the mist. Bravo, Master Vivi's grandfather must be quite a scholar. We must thank him upon escaping the mist. My grandpa used to teach me lots of things, but he passed away. Oh. Forgive my indiscretion. Don't worry about it. Well, why don't we go inside? This side goes up as redeemed insult me, which is predictable. I've already got one for you. I preemptively set it up. You, sir, are a heinous, beef-witted arch-villain. Heinous, beef-witted arch-villain. Heinous as in oily or insincerely polite. Beef-witted as in immature. And arch-villain, loathsome thing, cause of disgust. There you go. I thought ahead. Oh, what a beautiful place. Seeing the actual cavern is so much better than reading about it. Oh, how pretty. I wonder what kind of flower this is. Princess, please don't touch anything. Can we get moving? I'm freezing here. How do we get to that? I gotta go up and around. Yeah. Hey, we got our tent back. And of course, it takes a while to get through this cavern even though it's not that big, just because you get so many random battles. I need to try and steal things. Like that. Got a potion. Damn! Alright, I guess the level grinding paid off. Can probably conserve Vivi's uh, MP then. Maybe Steiner can one-shot these things after Zidane steals. Okay, there's a chest over there. I think there's something up here. I'm gonna fast forward the battles. Really? Didn't steal anything. Halfway through your 20s, you got stung by your first bee today? First of all, ouch. I have yet to be stung by a bee. I'm hoping I can make it to at least my 40s. Are you okay? I think I'm allergic to them, so if I got stung by one, I'd probably have a really bad reaction. Huh? What's this? What a strange wall. 
There's gotta be something behind it. Hey, Vivi. Y yes Can you break this wall down with your magic? I... I'm coming. Whoa! I knew it, see? There might be other walls like this. I'm counting on you, Vivi. Sh sure As you said earlier, Dizzy, Vivi is the best. Oh wait, I gotta go around. Ah. And of course. Your arm swelled up for like two hours and now it looks like nothing happened. Well shit. I have a feeling I would swell up and stay that way. Can we steal yet? There we go. We stole a tent. Nice. You stepped on a hornet's nest and got stung hundreds of times? What the fuck? Yeah, I would have just quit too. What the hell? Another potion, even though we have like 70 of them. alive. Aren't the other ones? They like died super easy. There we go. What the fuck? <laughs> you know from just one hornet? I had a hornet nest in my shed a while ago, like very small one. Maybe the size of like a grape, like it was just starting. And I was like, oh hell no, and I got that shit out of there. You got stung in the eye? Jesus. What the fuck are these things? Thankfully I have cave in. Thankfully I have never been stung by anything yet. Oh. They put Steiner to sleep. I got to level 8. Maybe I didn't save. Oh well. Alright. There's treasure chests in here if I remember right. That looks like a wall that Vivi can melt. Maybe. Got a potion. I know there's an upgrade weapon in here for Zidane. Somewhere. We need to find it. Vivi's out of mana. Okay. We have three ethers. Oh. There we go. No, oh, stop hitting the god. Damn it, I didn't want that. And we're trancing. <laughs> uh, we're trancing in a bullshit fight, of course. Son of a bitch. Feels bad, man. Final Fantasy 17, out of MP is the next game they need to make. It's the worst. How's everybody doing on health? Holy shit. Hello, what did you miss? Not much yet. We just got into the cave. Uh, we talked about the cave being a cave, and that's about it. We're, we're just now getting into it. <laughs> yeah. A boss fight would be ideal. Um, 
Here, we'll use some dying attacks unless fire kills this thing. It totally does. What a waste! I found a meme earlier that was the screenshot of uh, Garnet looking sad during the, the play where she's just kind of like looking down at the ground all sad. And it said, tranced during a fight with a goblin. And I'm like, yep. I know that feeling. It's the fucking worst. See, this cavern's not big. You just keep getting into fights. HP switching. Damn. Vivi taking no shit. Oh, what's Hi. this? What's up, Spooky? We just went into the cavern. You haven't missed too much. What's a waste is having Yuza, Yuna having her overdrive and all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, but at least in 10 with the overdrives, you can hold on to them as much as you want, you know? You don't have to use them. Whereas trance, it just happens. Uh, and you can't do shit about it. So we just came into the ice cave, and they talked about it being an ice cave, and that's about it. Nothing significant has happened yet. Got another phoenix down. Alright, so now... I gotta go left. I am planning to stream 10, but I'm probably saving it for, like, springtime. Um, but I do want to do that one, too. Especially because that's what I named Riku after. I feel like I'm... I kind of have to stream that one, because I named my cat after the game. Let's go ahead and do a cure. play through 10 again, but use the Expert Spear Grid? What is that? I didn't know there was a different one. What are these? They're called Weirds. Wireds. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that says. Um... Final Fantasy monsters don't really ever make sense, do they? I mean, Final Fantasy 7 had a house. Like, come on. Stole a tent, that's really good. Alright. I didn't know there was an expert sphere grid. I remember the regular sphere grid uh, being a little confusing sometimes, but I don't want to get too much into talking about 10 because I am planning to stream that later. What's up, Eldo? Welcome back. We just got started getting into the cave here. How are you doing today? And no spooky, it's Sponineku. Need to cure the dawn here. Expert grid wasn't available until the remake. See, I didn't even know it was a thing. So far, so good. I think leveling up was a good idea, because now we're not struggling in here. If we were still level 2, I feel like we would be. Another wall for Vivi to melt. Whoa! What do we got? We got a leather wrist. Okay. I don't know if that's something we already have. We have a wrist. Okay, leather wrist gives us beast killer. That's good. Now the question is, where is... There was that chest down in the corner. Of that previous room. Need to figure out how to get to that. I'm 
fast forward. Hey, leveled up. Okay. Let me just double check. And of course, it's a sad woolly mammoth. We're killing quite a lot of them. Alright then. God, that fast forward is so nice. Did that just say we can't carry? Yeah, we have 99 potions. What the fuck? Might as well use them. Guys, I think we need more potions. How the hell do I have 90 something potions in the ice cavern? That's never happened before. Alright. There's a chest down here in the corner. Just don't know how to get to it. See, it's that one down there. It looks like I have to come from the other room. Maybe. I can't remember. He is zooming. We're on fast forward. It's pretty nice. I love it. He's got the zoomies. Stole a potion, because we definitely need that. <laughs> Vivi melts the rod. Oh, there is an exclamation point in there. Okay, hang on. Thank you. Thank you. I was totally walking right back there. I'd love to say that I remember every little detail about the game, but I definitely don't. There it is, we got the Mage Masher. Which we should have had to begin with, but it's fine. Now we get Detect. Alright. Yeah, I know, but I didn't even know, like, <laughs> about buying the potions at the North Gate. Normally I'm like, ah oh, shit, I have like four potions. We are like, overstocked now, which is great. I love it. If that's what mammoths look like, I'm glad they're extinct. Wow. <laughs> that's just mean. BB didn't even want to give us a chance to steal. Hey, another potion. Okay, I think we want to go this way first. Huh? What's this? That Moogle's having a hard time. Whoa! Hot, hot, hot! You bastards! <laughs> In what other Final Fantasy do you get a Moogle that calls you a bastard? I love that. You bastards! Oh, I can move again! Thanks, Kufo! Teach me, Monster, lesson two. I don't need this. You can also speed up the battles alone with the Magrimon. Really? I didn't know you could do that. Is there a different button to push for that? Hey, bro, what are you going to teach me today? Lots of neat stuff. I'm going to give another interesting lecture today. No, you're not. I don't care. Gosh, bro, you sure know a lot. Yeah, I know. Yeah, FF9 Moogles are the best Moogles. I love them. Hey, you gotta deliver a letter, a letter to Gumo for me. Sure. Actually, hang on. Actually, we'll just save. It's a setting you do before starting the game. Okay, well, thank you for letting me know. I'll definitely look into that. Because, like, if I'm just gonna be, like, level grinding or something, I might want that. Fast forward is the only, quote-unquote, cheat that I'm comfortable using, because I want to play this for real. But sometimes the battles just take forever. Alright. Fucking Steiner. <laughs> Vivi, hurry up or you'll be left behind. I... I'm coming. Oh no! Master Vivi, are you okay?
Yo, Rusty, you're not alright, are you? What happened to you guys? Hey, Rusty, move it or lose it. Get up! It's no use. Oh no, Garnet, not you too. Garnet? She's out cold. Ha. <laughs> I get it. Shoot. I'm falling asleep. He's had a hard day. Ice cave, perfect place for a nap. Yeah, why not? Seems chill. He can boo me. What's that sound? It came from over <laughs> there. Is somebody there? Alright, hold on. We good? I feel like I need to... I think we're fine. We saved. We'll be fine. Why didn't you fall asleep? You should be dead by now. Are you the one causing this blizzard? He he he, that's right. Get out of here with your little bell. Oh shit, boss fight. My partner in crimes against lethal. Wow. At least you specify. Oh, I can't even read that. What does that say? <laughs> Why is the text up there like that? I can't read it. Maybe the resolution's fucked up. That is Black Waltz number one, according to his name. Stole a remedy. I think they each have two things I can steal. We leveled up because we can take these hits for now. Stole silk shirt. There we go. That's good. All right. Now we got to steal from the monster, and then we'll heal up. Stolen ether. Also, them beating us up is helping his trance charge up. Stole the shirt off its back. Well. He's still wearing it. All right. Yeah, that's really charging up the uh, trance. Keep it up, keep it up. Mithril dagger, hell yeah. That's what I wanted. I'm gonna heal up one more time. We got plenty of potions. All right, we got everything. We got all four items. Are you talking about dial M for monkey? From Dexter's lab. Oh, 208. Get fucked. Ugh, sea lion, kill him here. Kill him for me. See, look, I could read it that time. I don't understand why the first text at the beginning was like way up. All right, we're about to trance. I got potions for days. I don't even care. Come on, you son of a bitch. Hit me. Hey, thanks, bud. It's time to break out the dine. Tidal flame, I love it.
This is all going perfectly well. We got all the steals. We got trance. Almost 400 damage. Goddamn. Hit him again. How about that? Easy. <laughs> Easy. Ed, Ed and Eddie was my favorite Cartoon Network show. If we're going to get into that, that was the best one. Look at that. You defeated number one, but number two and number three will reclaim the princess. H who's there? Oh, whatever. I've got to go back and check on them. Oh. Zorn and Thorn. I forgot they show up there. The Don. Hey there. Everybody okay? You. What just happened? It was no big deal. You're hiding something. Hey, nothing happened. You heard me. You didn't touch the princess, did you? Just what are you accusing me of? Steiner, he said nothing happened. Why are you being so rude? My apologies, princess. Well, I'm glad everyone is safe. Shall we move on? Zidane, is something bothering you? No. It's nothing. Alright, what do we got? We just looted off these people. Can he use the silk shirt? Oh, he can get thunder! Hell yeah! Give him that. And then... We just got the Mage Masher. It gives us Detect. This gives us Bandit. So we're gonna... I'm gonna hold off until I get Detect. But it's nice that we have that now. Um... May as well put this on. Grim Adventures was another good one. I think somebody mentioned Courage the Cowardly Dog, right? That's another classic. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Wow, the cavern went... Perfect. Perfect. Got everything that I wanted out of there. We made it through the mist. Oh, the sun feels great. Look, there's a village. I think I've been there before. It sounds like you've been everywhere, Zidon. The only other worlds I've visited are in books. You may have been to that village. Let's go visit. Wait. Hold it. You're a princess. You can't just go rushing in there. People are looking for you. You need a new identity. Insolent fool! The princess need not sneak around. Besides, we're heading back to the castle. You leave her alone. And you will address her as princess from now on, you silly peasant. Damn it, Rusty. Why don't you just shut up? Who do you think you are? I don't take orders from a stuck-up jerk like you. You guys... Stop it, you two. Steiner, I do not intend to return to the castle. And I do see Zidane's point. I need a new name. Zidane, what is this called? That? That's a dagger. All knives of that length are called daggers. Short swords are a bit longer. The big sword you hold with both hands is called a broadsword. And... <laughs> goes off mansplaining. Oh, okay. I understand now. So, this is called a dagger. Princess, it's a weapon. Please be careful. I've decided. From now on, my name is... Dagger. I will be called Dagger from now on. What do you think, Zidon? Is that okay with you? Of course. Her name is... Stop. I'm not giving them any alternate names for any reason. Um... 
and keeping all their original names. Great, Dagger. Now let's work on your speech. And I understand, so far a couple times I've slipped and referred to her as Dagger when she hadn't gotten that name yet. And I was like, shit, I spoiled it. Um, no, I'm not naming her Stinky Kev Jr. I did see a streamer back in the day that streamed this game a few years ago. They named Steiner Poop Butt. And that definitely... <laughs> it's That definitely uh, changed things up. Try to sound more casual, like me. I shall try. No, no, no. What would Vivi say? Just say, alrighty. Uh, alrighty. You're getting the hang of it. Trying to make her sound more casual. Well, let's go. Controller keeps disconnecting. Alright, so there's the village. There's the tower to the right. We're gonna go there first. Assuming, of course, we get a battle. The fuck is that? We're gonna steal. Barb spider? And she tranced. God damn it. Well, shit. So, it says we can use her summons, but she can't use them. That's, that's pretty great. What a great use of trance. it's rare that you call her Garnet. I pretty much never call her Garnet, so for the beginning of the game, trying to refer to her as Garnet and not Dagger yet was very difficult for me. <laughs> I was, like, having a real hard time with it. Because um, I'm just so used to her being called Dagger. That's what I've always... I mean, that's, like, that's her name, right? Um, I definitely slipped up a couple of times. Okay, we're going to head over to this tower before we go to the village. Can't remember, is the guy in here or is he up top? He's in here. Ah, my coffee smells delicious. There you go. You like, anybody like coffee? This guy's like a coffee fiend. I thought there was something... 135 gil. Eventually there's like a quest involving coffee with this guy. I don't know if we can start it yet. What is that? Well, can't do anything with it. I guess we gotta come back here later. Should probably save. I think we can easily get through the village section here, and then maybe even the section after that. Because the cavern went very quick. Gee whiz, a windmill! Vivi, the inn is this way. Aw, oh, do we have to? But I want to go see the windmill. <laughs> it's so pure. I love that Vivi's concern is, I just want to go look at the windmill. He's so wholesome. I know, but let's get some rest first. We also need to decide what to do next. Did 
Did you see that? I sure did. I love the the background music in this. The background music for this town is probably almost my favorite track in the game because it's just so relaxing. Sleeping on the job? Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, I know she's cute, but it's rude of you to stare. Oh, I, I wasn't looking at the young lady. I just... The room is right over there. Make yourselves at home. Um... Zidane? Where will I be staying? In the same room. Where else? But Zidane, I mustn't. I understand how you feel, but these country inns don't have private rooms. Get inside, everyone. Look, everybody's got their own bed. Tell me one thing before we go to sleep. Why did you want to leave the castle, Dagger? If the theater ship hadn't crashed, it would have arrived at the neighboring regency of Lindblom. You were going to leave Alexandria? I see. If you hadn't been caught, you would have reached Lindblom by now. But now, we'll all have to cross Southgate on foot. Border crossing, huh? Zidane, please listen. There is a reason I must leave this kingdom. I cannot tell you why, but please. I understand. I'll get you to Lindblom somehow. I've heard enough. Princess, you cannot trust the words of a thief. He may expose you to even more danger like he did in Evil Forest. I beg of you, Princess, please return with me to the castle. <laughs> Why is Vivi glitching around over there? <laughs> He's having a hard time. I know I screwed up in Evil Forest. But there's no doubt in my mind now. I'll protect Dagger with my life. Don't be ridiculous. It is I who protect the princess, now and forever. Then tell me, how do you intend to take her back to the castle? I, I will think of a way. Yeah, he's out. Master Vivi, he was tired, but you had to go on a tirade. What? Let's go to sleep. You know, I noticed on my screen he was supposed to be in the bed, but he was like spinning. He was like standing in the bed and like spinning in place or something. I'll have to go back and look at it later. He glitched out. What a beautiful voice. Who's singing? I've never heard a song like that before. Was that Dagger singing? Oh, everyone's up already. I wonder where they went. Antidote. Alright, what do we got going on? Vivi confused. Ouch. What's going on? Hey, you're... They're all running away from him. Are they... avoiding me? Dagger tries. I wonder. I wonder if the castle is okay. That was quite a ruckus. Mother went too far. She didn't have to fire at the ship, even if she did it to rescue me. I wonder how many people got hurt. I hope the damage wasn't too severe. Some people could have died, like an evil forest. You're in my way, kiddo. Kiddo? Oh, my apologies. I mean, I'm sorry. Kids these days. It says old lady, but she's probably like 30. What are you doing? 
Can't you see what I'm doing? I'm killing the bugs on the crops. You're... killing the bugs? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Bugs are just like monsters. They destroy our crops if you leave them be. Crops? There's one. Oh, an oglop. Oglops eat vegetables? You're a strange one. Most girls hate oglops. Is that so? It's just that I haven't seen too many of them. Wait. Zidane told me to try and blend in. Maybe I should act like I don't like oglops. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> just throws it. I love it. Oh, wait. Gumo. We have a letter for him. A letter from... That guy? How do you how do you say that name? She doesn't know what crops are? No, apparently not. So much for all that book learning. Yo, man, I got totally iced up by some dude with wings on his back. Stiltskin passed me by without doing anything. Is he rude or what? Of course I couldn't say nothing, because I was trapped inside the ice. He always sounds so gruff, but I'm glad to hear Stiltskin is traveling. I can't wait to hear from him, Koopo. Oops. Alright. Cat's eye. That's a weird looking cat. Oh, it's you. What should I do? I don't want to give in to my brother, but everyone else is making money except me. Hey, wasn't that customer traveling with... I won't have to give in if I tell him about them. Alright. Look at this, we can get some new shit. Um... That. Mage staff. Get some new gloves. Get some new of these. Get some new of these. Already got the silk shirt. Bronze armor. Now yeah, get another one. The thing with this game is that you want to have as much of items as possible. I can easily make money. Um, okay. I think I got... So that increases our defense, but... It doesn't give us anything. I'm gonna hold off on that. Oh wait, hang on. I need to buy something else. Where? There it is. Get a bunch of these. Don't ask me why. Alright. Onward. I'm the mayor of this village. Who are you? I'm busy. Please leave. Alright. That was rude. Dagger tries harder. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, we were just there. I must speak with this girl and learn how to how common folks speak. Welcome. Um, yes, can we talk for a bit? Talk. I'm from the country. Or show me what you're selling. I'm from the country. Um Eve! Yacha! Can't you see I'm with a customer? But I just heard something awesome. Awesome. Can't you see I'm working? Um, please. I mean, don't mind me. Here's a chance to listen in on some conversation. Thanks, lady. I was gonna say... I don't know why are you buying that many? Cotton robe trip? Yes, it is for something called the cotton robe trick. Um, but I'm not revealing anything. So, uh, if you know what I'm up to, or if you know details about future parts of the game, keep it to yourself. <laughs> but yeah, there is a, a trick where you can use those to make some money. I'm gonna need the key to open this up. It says mayor's key here. Oh, I'm the mayor of this village. Who are you? Yeah. <laughs> so we can't come in here at all. I 
can't get near the treasure box while the windmill is turning. You were asking because I said don't ask why. I don't think we need a guard. Oh, forget what I just said. Hmm. Nothing suspicious about that, huh? Hey, Vivi, what's up? Zidane. N nothing I was just thinking. Ah, I see. You met a girl. No, no, nothing like that. What? Don't tell me you don't like girls. Man, he can like whoever he wants. I never really thought about stuff like that. I'm always thinking about girls. I'm popular with all of the ladies in Lindblom. Come to me if you have any girl trouble, okay? He's a child, I know, that's the other thing. He's literally nine years old. Sh sure, thanks. Okay then, we need to decide what to do. I'm gonna look for Dagger and Rusty. Would you mind heading back to the inn? Sure, I'll head back. But you also have to remember Zidane is 16. I mean, who was mature at that age, right? So what were you staring at? Nothing, but I keep hearing a sound like Kwe. That's the sound chocobos make. I'll see you back at the inn. Okay. What are chocobos? Chocobo? <laughs> ah! No, they ruined the wholesome moment! They ruined it! Huh? Forget Steiner, I wonder where Dagger is. Cat's Eye 2. BB got kidnapped right when he was learning about chocobos. He he he. Oh, the look on his face. He sent someone to pick it up right away. All I need to do now is keep quiet until the guests leave. Gotta pretend I'm asleep. He he he. The Moogle's just like watching all this shit happen. Just like watching the guy be sus. I love chocobos. Here, listen carefully. Did you hear that? I'm sorry, we're not open yet. Or do you need medicine? Yeah, I probably need some potions. We need some Phoenix Downs. Whoa, not that many. Um, get three. See, now we're running out of money. We had all that money and we spent it. Did you see a girl with long hair come in? Nope. You're confused where they are now? Uh, we went through the ice cavern and on the other side of the cavern was a village. Uh, and that's this village. Yeah, the Moogles are like the watchers in Marvel. Like, they just sit there and watch shit happen, and they're like, I'm, I'm not picking sides. <laughs> a girl? I saw her go back to the village. Hey, there's a chest here. This used to be a farm. Why did they destroy the farm to draw those strange patterns? Get out of my way, lady! I want this chest! I guess I can't get it till later. I can't leave by myself. We're just leaving blank for dead then. The evil forest is completely petrified. There's nothing anybody could do about it. <laughs> so, so unfortunately, yes. I think I can see inside. No one's back yet, but there's a chest in there. Where is it? Oh, it's just a fucking potion, really? Dagger? What's she looking at? Zidane? You got a fever or something? Your face is all red. It, it's nothing. I'm fine. You're acting strange. What? I get it. You changed the way you talk. Should we say you're doing great or you still sound funny, though? Um... 
I don't think it matters, but... I feel like Zidane would say something like, You're doing great, because he wants to suck up to her. You're doing great? Alright. Thanks. I did fine in the play, didn't I? Oh yeah, I thought you were Ruby, or you sure know how to fake it. Um... I thought you were Ruby. I'm a big fan of Lord Avon's plays. I have, I mean, I've seen all of them. I Want to Be Your Canary is one of my favorites. Oh yeah? Is Ruby the young lady with the strange accent? <laughs> yes, the southern accent is very strange. Uh, yeah. Should I talk more like her? What? No, no. She's really finicky about her speech. She always laughs at us whenever we try to mimic her. So you should just be yourself, Dagger. I understand. Alrighty. She's trying. We need to decide what to do from here. Will you go back to the inn? What about you? I'll head back soon. Alrighty, I'll catch you later. Good, you sound just like a regular village girl. Crossing the border might not be so tough after all. Thanks, I had fun. She was a strange one. I'll just let Steiner be and go back to the inn. Where is Steiner, anyway? Thank you for the hydrate and stretch. I get to drink water while I'm streaming as is, but when I'm talking so much, it's even worse. Did you wait long? I asked Vivi to head back. He should be back soon. How do you like this village? Pretty different from the castle, I bet. Yes. The kids are very energetic, and there's so many things to see. I've never walked around so freely before in my life. But... Where are all the adults? Yeah... I used to see them tending the farm next to the village. But that farm is tiny. Yeah. There's something strange going on. We'll leave once Vivi gets back. But, what about Steiner? I have a good plan for crossing South Gate. It's gonna be easy. They're not looking for the rest of us, so we'll just hide you. Forget about Rusty. Leave everything to me. Queen Bronze Steiner. There's that <laughs> Ophi music. Firewood stacking duties are complete. Really, dude? I await your command. It's my job to clean the bar. Why are you doing all this? S sorry Well, now that you have time, would you introduce me to some adults like your father? My father won't be back until nightfall. All the other men are also working. They don't come here during the day. Pubs are supposed to be a prime source of information. Ahem. I need not ask an adult. Let me ask you a question. I need to know about what transportation method people use in this village. I cannot tell you the reason, but there is someone I must escort to the castle. Are you from Alexandria Castle? Indeed. I command the Queen's King Knights of Pluto. I am Adelbert Steiner, Captain of the Knights of Pluto. Knights of Pluto? Oh. Well, if you're from the castle, I guess it's okay to tell you. Please go to the observatory on top of a mountain on the outskirts of the village. An old man named Morid lives there. He takes care of the cargo ship. Cargo ship? So, that piece of junk flies to this village. Thank you. Wait. Yes? Thank you for cleaning. Nay, it is I who should thank you for your assistance. I must make haste. As it turned out, it didn't matter that we snuck into their mansion. But the kings were hiding something in their mansion. What's wrong? Am I boring you? Oh no, your story is very interesting. 
But I'm concerned about Vivi. Why isn't he back yet? You're right. He is late. I'm not worried about Steiner, but Vivi I'm not so sure about. Let's go look for him. Alright. Did we get new stuff? Oh, I didn't get her new uh, weapon, did we? Yeah, why not? I'm pretty sure the store had a new staff for her. I don't know why I didn't buy one. Imagining things? No, there's that. That's what I remember. It was like another mage staff for Vivi. Okay. No upgrade yet. Did you see a little boy with a tall hat? A boy? I don't know what you're talking about. Wait a minute. Last time I saw Vivi, he was standing over there. And the mayor's still in here. Ah! Why did you stop, Zidon? I'm the mayor of this village. Who are you? I'm busy. Please leave. I don't want to cause any trouble before we find Vivi. Let's go. So we still can't go in there. Did I hear a chocobo? Vivi said he heard a chocobo here. Sniff, sniff. Is someone crying? Sniff, sniff. It's coming from the hole. Vivi? Zidane? Vivi, where are you? Are you underground? Can you move? They told me to stay here. Are you hurt? No. Don't worry, we'll get you out. We'll hurry, so stay where you are, okay? Okay. What's going on in this village? There's got to be a way into the underground somewhere. Let's look for one. Okay. It seems like such a quiet village. Eh, isn't this obvious? There's a cool breeze. Go on down. This isn't just a regular underground storage facility. What's going on? Shh. Why is it moving? Is it true that the mayor's brother found it? I guess they reconciled. His brother's one of us now. Wasn't the wasn't he on the old lady's side before? Oh, about abandoning the farm? He probably only said that because he was fighting with the mayor. Who cares? We need more workers anyway. Hey, let's put this in a box. I guess the guys at the castle will take care of it. The castle? Yep. We're only in charge of production. Gotcha. The pattern on this barrel. Come along now. Hurry up! Vivi! That bastard! <laughs> Zidane, wait! What is it? Did you see the large barrel next to the shed? I've seen the exact same pattern on some of the barrels at the castle. This place must have some kind of connection with Alexandria Castle. I must know what it is. So please, I beg of you, don't cause any trouble just yet. Alright. But I will start trouble if Vivi is in danger. Damn right. Agreed? Sure. All right, let's go. They went further inside. So many fucking potions. What did they use this barrel for anyway? It's kind of weird now that I think about it. So this is why I heard a chocobo up there. It's 
to see a Moogle. I have a favor to ask. Deliver a, me a letter to Mogki. Okay. Oh, I went to the wrong slot. Can we grab these chests? Okay. Ether. Hey. Nope. Quit running against the wall. Nice. And another potion. Don't have enough of those. Leather wrist. Iron helm. Well, when we get Steiner back. Nope. Jump down. Thank you. Anything back here? No. Nothing back here? Okay. What the heck is that? Zidane! What is it? Someone's crying. Sniff, sniff. They put him in a fucking box. Vivi? Zidane? It is you! I'll get you out. Why would they stuff you in a box? How could they? Uh, um... We'll talk later. Hold on. It's open. What happened? After you left, some men kidnapped me and brought me here. They told me to stay put. I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. They asked me, why were you outside? And then they said, the cargo ship isn't even here yet. I didn't know what they were talking about, so I didn't say anything. And then they said, let's put it in today's shipment. And they put you in that box? Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're safe. Listen, Vivi, you gotta do something next time. You should try screaming back or whatever. Screaming? Yeah, like, get off me, you scumbag. Scumbag? Like that, it surprises your attacker and empowers you. Huh, I see. I need to ask you a favor, Vivi. We want to check out what's ahead. I know you might not be thrilled with the idea, but Zidane, I want to know more, too. Look, what is that, then? Alright, we'll all go together. Ninety-five gil. Your Twitch app is bugging. What did you miss? Um, is this smoke? No. This... This is mist. Let's see... Should have known. Uh, so we found a underground passageway underneath the village, and Vivi was kidnapped and had been stuffed into a box. So that's where we're at right now. And now we just rescued him, and we're trying to figure out what the hell's going on. These are ghosts. Freaky looking ghost. Yeah, he was kidnapped. He was up looking at where the, um, he was standing next to the windmill and he's like, hey, I think I hear a chocobo. And he was listening for it and then somebody came by and snatched him. Stole ore. That's awesome.
forgot to give uh, Vivi his new stuff. Miss monsters, huh? Phoenix down. Alright, Vivi, we have some new stuff for you, I think. Feather hat, leather wrist. Yeah, he's getting all kinds of stuff. Ed's status doesn't make sense for him, because he's not really physically attacking, but whatever, we'll look over for now. Another potion! A Phoenix Pinion! Nice. That's rare. So many machines. What are they doing here? Looks like it's sending mist to the machine outside. What are those eggs made of? Is that an egg? Is this machine making eggs? This isn't a mist engine, but there's mist coming out of it. A chocobo and Geisel greens? The chocobo is powering the conveyor belt. Why don't they just use a machine to do it? Here's another strange machine. It looks kind of like the mist engine on the feeder ship. These heathens and their machina. Wrong Final Fantasy. I can almost see inside, but I can't see anything. I just hear some noise. Are the eggs hatching? Ah, what is this? There. Some parts are different, but... They look like Vivi. What, what is this? What the hell is this? Are they... dolls? Someone's coming! Vivi, dagger! Why? Is my mother behind this? This is the only way. Ah, what are you doing? <laughs> shoves them. Sorry, but stay quiet. Hey, did you say something? Nope, not me. Okay, never mind. It's almost time. Hurry it up, will ya? I hear ya. Whoa! Is it on? Vivi! <laughs> Here, I'll get him put in boxes. Pardon me. I must escort a person of high rank to the castle. When will the cargo ship arrive? I'm busy. Hmm, looks good. You're in my way. I shall persevere. <laughs> like, everybody's in trouble when Steiner's out here fucking around. I have nothing to say to you. The smell of coffee relaxes me. How about a cup? Oh, thank you. I am not here to drink coffee. Tell me when the cargo ship will arrive, or else the Alexandria royal family will appropriate this property. And then what? I order you to tell me when the cargo ship will arrive. Tell me! You're not a very creative interrogator. I am just trying to do what is right. Who decides right or wrong? You? Anyone can tell right from wrong. Ha ha ha. Still as green as a pickle. When will the cargo ship arrive? It's already here. They should be loading it now. Why couldn't you tell me sooner? Thank you.
This place must have something to do with the cargo ship. That bastard lied to us. Ah! It is indeed the cargo ship. Now I can take the princess back to the castle. Now I must think of a way to get her on the ship. What? There is something coming out of the ground. Also, I don't know why, but the controller is just vibrating nonstop. <laughs> I wonder what they're going to use them for. Hang on, I'm going to unplug it. Like, ever since I came back out of the tower, it started vibrating. And I was like, is it because of the ship? But it didn't stop. We've been making lots of them since they set up the factory six months ago. Who cares? This is a piece of cake compared to farming. Better money, too. Hey, is that scary guy in armor running toward us? Let's get out of here. This barrel. What could be inside? What could they possibly be shipping out from this village? What the? Did I just see that barrel move? Let's see. Poke it with a sword. Hiya! Ow! Ouch! What did you do that for? You. You almost stabbed a dagger. The princess? Ouch. Princess, what in the world is going on? You scoundrel, is this your doing? Steiner, please. Yes, your highness. Zidane, I don't know what to say to Vivi. I never knew anything suspicious was going on at the castle. We still don't know for sure. Let's stay by Vivi's side. He looks... sad. This is not the time to panic. I must get the princess on board the cargo ship somehow. Then we can head back to Alexandria Castle. Yo, Rusty, do you know where this airship's going? L Lindblom. Yes, to Lindblom. That's convenient. Did you ask someone? The, the old man in the shack told me, so it must be true. You're acting strange. Something is headed this way. Well, shit. <laughs> Princess Garnet, the queen is waiting for you at the castle. You were all sent by the castle? What? What are you talking about? You were all unconscious from the blizzard. He said he was a Black Waltz. Are you the one who defeated number one? I am Black Waltz number two. My power, magic, and speed make me far superior to number one. Resistance is futile. Come, princess. The queen awaits. No, I will not return to the castle. Come with me or you'll regret it. Wait, I, Steiner, shall escort the princess back to the castle. Hee hee hee, you think I care? I won't let you stand in the way of my mission. I forgot there was a boss fight here. I don't understand why that's happening. He's saying something to us. I won't let you get in my way. Come on, we need to steal. There we go. This is how you use Blizzard. Oh, so he casts a spell back at us? Okay. Another plate. Damn. 
My mission is to take back the princess. Oh, shit. Oh, no, that's bad. Vivi. Not carrying anything. Okay, so stealing again would be pointless. That cure came just a second too late. No, not the pinion. Where's the... Where's Phoenix down? There it is. Come on, stay alive! Alright. Fuck him up! Man, everybody's picking on VV. Okay. That wasn't so bad. What? Why? Again, Steiner with the killing blow. Black Waltz number two. Did my mother really send him to capture me? It can't be. There is no reason to trust the words of some bandit. He was just another criminal, scheming to use the princess for some evil deed. Have I not been careful enough? Your noble upbringing cannot be disguised so easily. That's not true at all. You haven't been watching. Dagger is trying really hard. You're the one with the problem, walking around yelling PRINCESS everywhere. About the border crossing. Yes? Why don't we hitch a ride on this airship? Sure, Lindblom should be not be terribly far by airship. I mean, won't be too far. But why don't we get some rest before we go? Yeah, let's definitely rest. Okay, let's head back to the village. Vivi, you'll be safe with me. Yeah, so when we came out of the cavern, she was like, hey, I need a new name. And Zidane and Steiner were bickering, and Zidane dropped his dagger. And she was like, hey, what's this thing called? And he's like, that's a dagger. So that's her incognito name. He's out cold. Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm? I thought they'd captured it already. Hey, I know she's cute, but it's rude of you to stare. Oh no, I wasn't staring at the young lady. The, the room is through that door. Literally the same exact conversation as last time. Stay calm. Definitely save. Well, the innkeeper's probably in on it with everyone else. All right, let's go get on that ship. Wait here while I ask the people inside if we can hitch a ride. I, I shall go ask them. Oh really? How come? Probably in on it. Boo this man. It, it is not for your benefit. I am only doing this for the princess. Steiner? He was so adamant about going back to the castle before. An airship full of barrels like the ones I saw at the castle... Steiner was against going. 
Zidane, is this ship really headed for Lindblom? No, it'll probably take us straight to Alexandria Castle. But why? Didn't you just say we should get on the ship? Yeah, I know. Trust me. Zidane. What is it, Vivi? Those dolls they were making underground. Did you think they really look like me? Um... Let's just be honest. Maybe a little, but they're just dolls, Vivi. It's moving. What the heck is Steiner up to? Alright, we have to get on, Dagger. On a ship that's not going to Lindblom? I don't have time to explain. This way. Hurry up! You have nothing to worry about. Hurry, before she takes off. But... I'll take you to Lindblom, I promise. Fine, I'll get on. It's taking off! Ooh, soft. Forgot about that. I've seen a lot of people complain about that part. And of course he's still on the ladder, as he should be. Come on, it's not like I did it on purpose. Please, enough. There's that royal tone in your voice again. Are you okay, Vivi? Feels like I'm going to get sucked into the sky. Let's go inside, Vivi. I trust you, Zidane. I get the feeling she doesn't quite trust me yet. Maybe she'll reward me with a kiss or two if I try hard enough. Wow, already? <laughs> this fucking guy. Zidane! What is it? Something wrong? It's Vivi. Vivi? Uh, um... Wow, they're alive and they're moving around. So, the mages built in the village bring back the new ones? Oh, Vivi. Vivi! Uh, um... Were you able to talk to any of them? No. It's like... They don't even... see me at all. I tried again and again, but they won't even turn around. Vivi. I need to go upstairs for a little bit. I gotta turn this ship around before it reaches the castle. Keep an eye on Vivi, okay? You don't understand. What, uh, what don't you understand? How could this happen? What am I to do? I never expected things to go so badly. I cannot believe the ship took off without the princess. Uh, so, when we were in the underground facility, we found a bunch of, like, black mage dolls being produced in like a like a conveyor belt system um, almost like a factory they were just being mass produced and Vivi is reasonably and understandably traumatized and like what the fuck what, what is this why are a bunch of dolls that look like me being made and now we get on this ship and find that they're flying it what the heck were you doing you almost took off without us that is because this ship's crew Why, you... Where's the princess? In the engine room. She's on the ship? All is well now. The ship is returning to the castle. You will be hanged for the kidnapping of a member of the royal family. Enjoy your freedom while you can. 
You don't get it? Any questions that come up, trust me, you'll get your answers eventually. This game doesn't leave any open-ended, like... Um, it's not like Kingdom Hearts, where every time you get a question answered, you know, you get four more. They, they answer all questions in this one. You find out when you're meant to find out. It's like he doesn't even see me. And yeah, Steiner's fucking cold sometimes. At last, Queen Braun is sure to be pleased. However, the princess would have been left behind without the thief's aid. I shall petition for a life sentence on his behalf. Yes, that would be the honorable thing. But that was because the crew wouldn't listen. I must run a background check on them. Ah, yes, it is my duty as a knight. What, what the? Uh-oh. Thank you for the hydrate and stretch, Elder. Well, it just stands there and says nothing. Y y y what's wrong? Something stuck in your throat? Y you insulin fool! Turn the ship around! I love this. Hanging by his tail. I will have your head for that. Hey, I think we upset them. But they didn't respond to anything until now. You're the one who started this trouble. I apologize. Please wait while I take this fool into custody and turn the ship around. Wh what's wrong? No. Vivi! Are you okay? So, number two was defeated by a small child. You are no match against my power. Quahahaha! Princess, stay there while I eliminate this child. Are you protecting him? Nonsense. You are no different from mindless dolls. What can you do? Get out of my way. Do you dare to fight a black waltz? I said get out of my way. What, what cruelty? Fucking poor Vivi. Ah! And he just runs out there. Master Vivi, I shall assist you. Hey, you guys! Dagger. I yes? We'll take care of the Black Waltz. You steer the ship. Things are gonna get even more dangerous from here on. It's not too late to turn back. You can go back to the castle or cross Southgate into Lindblom. It's your choice. I'll be with you either way, but try not to crash the ship. Be careful, Zidane. I'll be fine. Why? Why would you do such a thing? Weren't they your friends? You fool. Do I look like some lowly black mage soldier? Even if they weren't your allies, what you did was reprehensible. Quahahaha. Worry not about them. Many more are being produced even now. What are you? Ah, the princess's bodyguards have gathered. How very convenient. Answer me! It wouldn't do you any good if I answered, since you're all going to die. I will eliminate any who stand in my way. Oh yeah, Vivi automatically trances because he's so pissed off. Love it. I 
have to remember to use potions because we don't have dagger with us. I think we've stolen everything now. He really just do 69 damage. Okay, he's flying. I don't like the... Is he gonna do some big super move? No, we killed him. Did we kill him? Yeah, I think we killed him. Alright. That wasn't so bad. You. You scum. I exist only to kill. Just how many black waltzes do we have to fight? This is becoming ridiculous. I think that was the last one. How do you know? Are you... He said waltz, right? Don't you think number three would be the last one? I can see South Gate. She's gonna go for it. Did you see that? That I did see. Our black mage enhancements. Our enhanced black mages. All defeated. Betrayed us, Steiner did. It is all his fault. Huh? Unstable the ship becomes. Don't let go of the steering wheel. Number three is coming back. True, is it? Hooray. But something is wrong. It is broken. Made its magic too powerful, we did. There's nothing we can do now. We shall depart. Depart shall we. Run away! I fucking love them. I love them so much. I exist only to kill. 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 Yeah, the clowns, I love them so much. Do you see Southgate? Yes. Southgate is a huge gate built exclusively for airships, but... Maneuvering through it could be tricky. Do you want me to do it, Dagger? I want to do it on my own. Zord quit staring at me with them big ol' eyes. Yeah, that was quite the close-up. And I love how they just straight up jumped out of it and then started twirling. <laughs> we don't have clearance. They might close the gate on us. It should be okay, though. Security was totally lax when I came through here on the theater ship. It'll be fine, Captain Dagger. Roger. It's old, but the engine's got power. We must turn back. Princess, please turn the ship around. The Black Waltz is headed straight toward us on an airship. He might crash into us. Dagger, Rusty's right. It's headed straight for us. Punch it. Go through South Gate. Don't be ridiculous. What if the gate closes on us? There's no way we can outmaneuver him in this cargo ship. We'll slide in before the gate closes and shut him out. That's our only chance. 
Rusty, turn the power up to max with that lever over there. Daggers stay on course no matter what. Okay. I know we can make it. Poor Vivi's just like existential crisis mode. Oh, I love that shot. That shot with Vivi with the fire, when he shot the fire back at the Black Waltz, was the screenshot in the magazine I saw that got me interested in this game. When I think of this game, I think of that scene. I think we pushed it a little too hard. Why so silent, people? We made it. Come on, cheer up. Southgate was badly damaged. It was my fault, wasn't it? Don't worry about it. They'll fix it up in no time. You idiot! The cargo ship was wrecked, we lost all the cargo, and Southgate was destroyed! I can't believe I played a part in this debacle! Steiner. Yes, princess. I didn't mean to get you involved, but you saved us. Thank you. Yeah, Steiner has no socks. Such kind words. I am not worthy. Well, now I've made up my mind. I vow to protect you, Princess, until we return to the castle. How do you feel about that, Dagger? He'll follow you to the end of the world. It's okay, Zidane. Hey, I can see the main gate of Lindblom. That's Lindblom Castle? How gigantic. The city of Lindblom is inside the castle. Think about that. This whole city is inside the castle. The castle is that big. I guess Dagger and I will go our separate ways once we reach Lindblom. I see. Just when we were beginning to get close. Zidane. Those black mages and I... Are we... the same? I don't understand, Master Vivi. Just what seems to be the problem. I don't know. Master Vivi, why would those mages be the same as you? And why would it matter if they were? Rusty's right. You're an individual, no matter what happens, Vivi. R right Let's go out to the deck, Vivi. You've got to see Lindbrum from above. It's the best. Look, the Falcon's Gate is right in front of us. so cool. A castle so big, it's got an entire city in it. I love it. And that right there is the banner when uh, somebody joins the Discord and it says like, oh, so-and-so has joined the server. It's that. <laughs> 
Wow, this castle is huge. It's even bigger than Alexandria Castle. Yeah, they don't call it Lindblom Grand Castle for nothing. An indoor airship dock. This is truly amazing. Even Her Majesty's Red Rose would easily fit in here. Dagger, you don't look too impressed. Have you been here before? Yes, I came here a few times when I was little. I haven't been here since my father passed away. This is Lindblom. It's another, another kingdom. Besides Alexandria. So we just crashed through the border gate, and now we're in another kingdom. Here comes the welcoming committee. That's a really old airship. Greetings, I am Princess Garnet Till Alexandros. I humbly request an audience with Regent Sid. You must be kidding. No member of the royal family, let alone a princess, would ever ride in such a shabby airship. And look at the company you're keeping. How dare you accuse the princess of lying. The princess was forced to come here under extreme circumstances. Then show me some kind of proof of your royal heritage. Very well. This pendant. Is it a falcon claw? No. The shape is a little different. Call Minister Artania. If you weren't such filthy looking oaf, they would not be so suspicious of us. Hey, I'm not the idiot with the loud voice and the dirty rusty armor. What? What is going on? Sir, we have unknown visitors who wish to see the regent. And one of them is carrying a pendant that looks like a falcon claw. You are dismissed. I'll take care of this. Yes, sir. Uncle Artania. It's good to see you, princess. Please follow me. The regent is waiting. Okay, so we gotta follow him that way. Who are you? I'm taking the day off. You look a bit tense. Why don't you try to relax a bit and listen to my story? Come on, you'll love it. This is your only chance to hear it. Okay, here it goes. When I was 27... What's <laughs> asleep? Uh, alright. So we have new equipment, before I forget. Get that iron sword. Get that iron helm. Get that bronze gloves. Get that linen... How do you say that? Curious? I don't know. Curass? Alright, what else we got? Uh, I think that was it. No, we got leather plate. Cacra. We can't use that. Um, steeple hat. So we want to give that, I think... Oh, she already knows protect. Okay. Well... can't do anything with that. Alright, I think we're good for now. Almost. I'm curious how to pronounce... Curious, yeah. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not even gonna try. We got anything new here? We got cover. That's useful. Bright eyes, antibody. So I don't really care about all these killers. Get rid of those. Antibody and level up. So these things like bright eyes. Well, let's see, what does it do? Prevents darkness. Antibody prevents poison and venom. These are the things you really want. Oops. Um, let's see what else we got down here. Anything new? No? Probably nothing new here either. Yeah, we still don't have any equipment with abilities just yet. Before we follow that guy, I'm gonna go up here. Anything over here? Who are you? You're an airman, right? Seems like a lot of girls are joining the crew these days. Oh, hello. So what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at the airship docks or something? I passed the flight test for the new model. I was really looking forward to flying number one, but it's gone now. Who knows when they'll finish number two with the region's current condition. Don't worry, you'll get your chance someday, and you'll be the first pilot ever to fly the new model. By the way, what's your name? 
Thank you. I feel much better now. Good. I'm Zidane, and you're... My name is Aaron. Hey, that's a really nice name. Aaron, I'm gonna go get something to eat now. Do you wanna... I have to get back now. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, I love it. What a playboy? No, he's he thinks he's a playboy. Thinks he's a playboy. May as well grab these. Glass armlet. Who can use that? Ah, uh... oh, there we go. Give Garnet antibody. That's what's up. And we found a Moogle. We have a letter for him. It's a letter from Kumop, Kupopo. Thank you very much. Stiltskin visited me. Kupo, he said he found a place that seemed interesting and then he left. I wish he stayed longer, Kupo. Where did he go anyway? Let me know when you find out, Kupo. Stiltskin, Stiltskin, Kupo, Kupo. I wonder if he stopped in Lindblom. I love how Stiltskin is like famous, but kind of ignores everybody. He literally left What's-His-Face frozen. Alright. I thought there was... No, nothing here. He's very busy. <laughs> He's got shit to do. Dude's out there living his best life. You'd never know it based on the Discord bot named after him. This guy's just been chilling in the elevator waiting for us. Lindblom Castle has three levels, all connected by this lift. Uh, it's an elevator. From the base level, which lies below the mist, you can take a trolley back to the harbor and the back gate. Ships hardly arrive at the harbor anymore since travel by air has become so popular. The mist poses great danger, so we've sealed off everything. Damn, those are some eyebrows. Oh my god, they are. Just above the base level is the mid-level. His eyebrows have eyebrows. You can ride the air cab from the mid-level to go to town. The upper level contains the royal chamber and conference room. Access to that level is restricted, because the region himself resides there. Hey, Dagger, what's Regent Sid like? I lived in Lindblom for a while, but I've never met him. Regent Sid is very wise. He always thinks ahead. But it lifts you up? Well, what about when it takes you down? What do you call it then? He may seem a bit odd at times, but he is very dependable. He and my father were best friends. I wonder if he will even listen to what I have to say. Don't worry, we're not leaving until he does. We will arrive at the upper level shortly. We don't talk about that. Sire, Princess Garnet of Alexandria wishes to see you. Princess, is something wrong? The regent isn't here, and I don't know who... Take a look at the throne. What in the world? Guac, guac. Guac, guac. Greetings! Og? Oglop! <laughs> Straight up punched him. Sire! What? What? Dagger, what's wrong? Why aren't you talking to... Jeez, that's an Oglop! Wow. Even the Oglops are big in Lindblom. <laughs> Look at Vivi. Everyone's freaking out and Vivi's just like, Wow, that's sure pretty big. Normally lift kits are used on trucks, but the man used it on his eyebrows. What's up, Ninja Glavi? How you doing? What is the meaning of this? How dare you greet the princess like this? Get that repulsive bug off the throne immediately and call the regent. Please settle down, you are before the regent. What? Enough of your nonsense. Steiner, stand down. I remember that mustache. Yeah, look at that fucking mustache on the Oglop. Is that really you, Uncle Sid? Yes, greetings all, Guac. I am Sid Fabul, regent of Leanblum. I knew it was you. I recognized your pendant's description. It's so much like my falcon claw. 
I'm delighted to see you again, Garnet. You have truly, Glock, become a fine lady. I, on the other hand... Allow me to explain. About six months ago, someone snuck into the castle and attacked the Regent in his sleep. Unfortunately, we were too late. The Regent had been transformed into an Oglop, and his wife, Lady Hilda, was abducted. My goodness. Whoever pulled this off had to be highly skilled, like me. <laughs> I'll bet it was you. That's not possible. How can you be so sure? Do you know who we are? Of course. I may be a bug, Quok, but I am still the ruler of Lindblom. Uncle Sid, I appreciate you seeing me on such short notice. I desperately need to speak to you about my mother. That's what I figured. But I'm sure it can wait till tomorrow. Why don't you all get some rest for today? Thank you. It is time for lunch. Please follow me. He's got the white beard stash. I can't stand the food at the castle. It's way too high class for my tastes. How can anyone get full on that stuff? The cheap food here is a lot better. Today's special is... Soup du Silence. Not bad. Yo, Pops, I'll have the stupid special. Who said that? Look at this guy, he's literally twirling his mustache. Zidane, I figured it was you. Good soup. It's good soup. How have you been? Alright, I guess. Have a seat, your soup will be ready in a minute. Do you mind? You're standing in everyone's way. Wow. Hey. Yeah? Do you want a drink? How about you and me go for a cruise on an airship? Really? An airship? Sounds like you've never been on one. You know, Lindblom is quite a sight from high above. Hey, monkey tail, you're disturbing the other customers. What the? You've got a tail too, rat face. Rat face. After I finish my drink, I'm gonna kick your butt. Now he's gonna kick my butt. Hey, Zidane, take it outside. Long time, Zidane. Hey, what's up? Wait a minute. You forgot my name? That was fucking loud. No, I remember. You're Helga, right? Wrong. Christine? No! Oh yeah! You used to live next door to me. How's it going... Ratchel? Man, you've really gotten... big. You nasty little... Come on, I'm just kidding. You know I never forget a pretty girl's name. Brea, she's probably my favorite character besides Vivi. She's so awesome. And she's 21, so she's a little older than everybody else. But not as old as me and Steiner. So, how have you been, Freya? Same old Zidane. How long has it been? About three years. Hey, did you ever find out anything about your boyfriend? No. So, what brings you to Lindblom? The Festival of the Hunt. What else? It's a good opportunity to test my skills. Oh. Well, I'm sure you'll find him someday. Aren't you participating? Nah, I think I'll pass. Lazy bum. Are you ever gonna go back? I have no reason to return to Vermicia. There is nothing there for me anymore. So, how is the queen? Is she still as vibrant as ever? Yes, but... Since father died, mother has been acting very strangely. I'm not surprised, Guac Guac. They loved each other so much. We haven't spoken much lately. Also, a suspicious man has been prowling around the castle. I don't know what's going on anymore. I fear that she might be planning something terrible. I've brought this matter to everybody's attention, but no one has taken me seriously. They all think I'm distraught over losing father. I understand why you're so eager. I'm happy that you came to me for help. At this point, I think you're the only person Mother will listen to. When I heard that Lindblom's theater ship was coming to Alexandria, I decided to sneak on board and come here no matter what. I just never expected the crew to kidnap me. It was me. I was the one who ordered Tantalus to kidnap me. I know there's been questions of why were they there to kidnap her, there you go. 
I once promised your father, Guac, that should anything happen, I would protect you. We've known about the disturbances in Alexandria for some time. But had we acted directly, it would have started a war. So, I asked Baku for help. He and I go way back. The play was the perfect cover to enter Alexandria and get you out. No one would suspect Lindblom was behind it. We were Guac forced to take action because we knew Alexandria would never seek our help. I'm relieved we were able to get you here. At the village of Dali, we saw numerous black mages. They looked like golems controlled by some powerful magic. On top of that, they were being created under Alexandria's supervision. I don't know how they're related to Vivi, but if Mother is planning to use them for war, we won't let that happen. Even if she were to command an army of black mages, she won't make a move as long as we have our airship fleet. Don't worry, Guac Guac, everything will be fine. I'm so sorry, Uncle. Now, now, come on, don't be so formal. I'm helping you because I'm your Uncle Sid, not because I'm the Regent of Lindley. Thank you so much. What is this place? The heart and soul of Lindlum, our airship dock. This is dock number one, where we conduct our research, Quack. But where are the airships? Lonely, isn't it? We had a new airship model in here about six months ago. It was our latest creation. It didn't require mist to fly. So all the airships, their engines run on the mist out in the world. So it's like a big deal that they had one that didn't need it. The man who attacked you, was he the one who ran off with it? Good guess, but no. Actually, I met a lovely lady at the pub. Um, when Hilda found out about my little affair, she used her magic and turned me into an Ogla. Then she stormed off in the new airship, which I named Hildegard. Pretty ironic, eh? She hasn't been back since, Guac. I've been working on Hildegard too, but it hasn't been going too well. My mind just isn't the same as an Ogla. I'm hopeless. But that doesn't mean I can't help you. I'll do my best for Alexandria. So when you're the region of Lindblom, don't cheat on your wife, or she'll turn you into a bug. Thank you. But with Southgate badly damaged, I don't know how we can get to Alexandria. Don't worry, Southgate is being repaired as we speak. Once the repairs are finished, we'll go to Alexandria. Yes, I'm sure Mother will finally open her eyes to the truth. Uncle, is something wrong? Huh? No, I was just thinking about how the theater ship crashed. Baku sure has good men working under him. Wow, I didn't even knock. Good morning. You're up early. Lindblom is a really busy place. I've never seen this many people before. I wonder where people go when they want to be alone. Lindblom has always been like this. People come here from all over the world. Some of them come here to become airship engineers, sculptors, actors. Wow. I don't even remember why I came here my first time. Before I knew it, I was living here with my Tantalus brothers. Do they still live here? Yeah, our hideout is in the theater district. I'm gonna go there right now. Do you want to come along? Um, that's okay. I'm gonna go look around town. Okay, then I'll give you a little tour. No, that's okay. I can go by myself. Oh, okay. Go find yourself a cute girl, all right? Dude, he's nine. Teach me, Mogster, my first synthesis lesson. There is a hidden quest in the theater, but it's it's like end game side quest. It's not right now. Hey, bro, what are you going to teach me today? Lots of neat stuff. Today, I'm going to talk about the synthesis shop. I know how to speak. Yeah, let's go ahead and learn about that. Refresh my memory. In addition to regular shops where you can buy and sell items, there are synthesis shops where you can synthesize items to create new items. All you need are two items to serve as the base and a few gil to cover labor. The items you need and the amount of money you pay vary for each item. Here are some examples. Two mage mashers can make the ogre, which I did buy some extra mage mashers. We can make desert boots with leather hat and leather shirt. If you haven't been to a synthesis shop yet, go check out the one in Lindblom. Oh, speaking of synthesis, I'll tell you a big secret. Long ago, I heard rumors there's a legendary synthesis who can create the best items. But I don't know where he lives or what he looks like. Oh, I know exactly who he is, but no spoilers. We're not going to get into that. We'll find him when we find him. 
right, there's a Moogle in here. There's a letter for Zidane. From Ruby. <laughs> Ain't y'all coming back to Alexandria? I'm so lonely. Just kidding. I'm opening a little theater in an alley here. A bartender pal of mine is quitting the saloon and getting into showbiz. He asked me to help. Your friend is starting a mini theater? Sounds like fun, Kupo. Good for Ruby. You know, she gets left behind in Alexandria and she's just making the best of a bad situation. Alright, let's, uh, let's go explore the city. Wait, hold on. Bobo Bird Statue. Bobo birds are symbols of good fortune according to an Olgan myth. The founder of this inn bought the statue and it has been passed down for generations. Comments and suggestions. The room was terrible. Also, that thing crying Koopo Koopo kept me up all night. Throw him out ASAP or I'm never coming back. Uh... Like a Yelp review. Small town night in a big city. Oh no, I remember what this is, I think. What a huge town. I'm completely lost. Pardon me. Jeez, you're dressed awful funny. I am Captain Adelbert Steiner of Alexandria, and I humbly request your assistance to get back to the castle. <laughs> That's a new one. Nice try, but I don't date bums. You should really scrape that rust off. It's disgusting. What? Huh? Grandma Pickle! Do you always strike out that badly? I think you need a new line. A little shine wouldn't hurt either. What are these things? They're called Geisel Pickles. They're one of Lindblom's delicacies. The city sucks. Do you want to try one? It smells terrible. The worse they smell, the better they taste. That is not true. That is not true. I guess I'll try one. Ugwah! Hack, hack. Oh my, even the locals don't eat them in one bite. Phew. But you're right, they are good. fucking guy. Papa's airship fighter is so cool. When I grow up, I'm gonna fly with Papa. Oh, hey, here's another old guy. Air cabs are amazing. Back in the old days, we had to walk all the way to the theater district. I don't think I could ever walk that far anymore. I'd probably croak if I did. This year's festival is gonna be awesome. Who do you think's gonna win? I'm putting my money on Ivan? Yeah, he's good, but I heard a female Dragon Knight's participating this year. I'll bet you two cheeseburgers Ivan's gonna win. Okay, you're on. My money's on the Dragon Knight. Hey, there's Grandma Pickle. Darn, they're not selling at all. Geisel pickles are good, but they smell really bad. I was gonna try to buy one from you, but I guess not. There was something over here. No? Maybe it's later. Ooh, free stuff. Take a high potion. Card Freak. The card game is deep. Well, I'm not going to play cards with you right now. That. Hey, did you hear? A theater ship blew up and crashed in Alexandria. There's been a lot of commotion in Alexandria lately. Yeah, I know a thing or two about that. I think you're going to need some medicine if you're going to participate in the festival. Yeah, we're kind of low on money, though. Let me get some softs. 
We don't have many items in stock today because Southgate is under repair. Sorry. Fire is too strong. How many times do I have to tell you? A few degrees can make the difference between a good weapon and a bad one. Use a lower flame. Stop nagging. We've got a customer. When is he going to get it through his head? Yes, I'm here to synthesize things, please. How's it going? Do you want me to make you something for the festival? We can get... Oh, shit. Crap. Boots, yellow scarf. Damn. Alright, we'll get this. Ah, right. Cotton rope. So I need to get steepled hats. That's what I bought all that stuff for. Um. Find a regular shop, I think. To buy some of those. Excuse me. I remember a guy with spiky hair who carried something like this. There's our cloud reference. For Final Fantasy VII. If you want to come out on top of the festival, you should definitely buy some weapons here. Alright, we need to sell some crap. Um... But I don't want to sell items, because we might need them for synthesis. Can I afford to part with some potions, maybe? And probably a little more than that. Alright, so... Buying the steepled hats. I need to remember if I'm doing this right. Because we got all the wrists. just need to refresh my memory. I wrote it down. So, let's see. You buy steepled hats. Yeah, so the cotton robes, they apparently cost a thousand to make, but they sell for two thousand. So let's buy some of these, I guess. Let's do this for now. Nope, I went back inside. Oh, I don't have enough money. <laughs> Shit. All right, I got to sell a couple more potions. Probably should have kept some of my money out there. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that works. did spend all the cash on potions, but we're selling them back, so, you know. Alright, cotton rope. So now, in theory, I don't know how this is going to be a profit. <laughs> in theory. Yeah, there it is, 2,000. Just run back and forth a couple times, I guess. The problem is, I don't think I'm done with the Mage Masher. Yeah, it detect. I only have three of them. I also have the Mithril Dagger. I think I can get detect from another item later, too. Um, because I know for the festival I'm going to want a better weapon even than these. Which I don't think we're going to do the festival tonight, because I've got about half an hour left. I'm going to try to get to where we're about to start it anyway. Let's make another one. The ogre. And butterfly sword. I don't know which one to get. I, can get. I think I can get both of them. I don't want to... Hold on. I'm going to Google something. I don't want to make it. 
I'm gonna lose the thing I need. Hang on. So what can I learn to detect from, besides what I have now? Uh, okay. So if I don't have the Mage Masher, I won't get it. I won't be able to learn that ability again until a weapon much later in the game. Um, what does Butterfly Sword have? These are critical decisions. Probably what I would want to get right now. What does it teach? It is very important. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go with that. And we'll still have one Mage Masher. Um... Let's go ahead and make that. And we need to go sell our stupid robe. I'm only gonna do the, the robe trick once once more here. I'll do the rest of it like off stream, because I'm not gonna sit here and run back and forth. Alright. That gets us a little bit of money back. So then That is so much better. We're gonna definitely use that for the festival. Alright, we gotta go to the theater district, right? Go check out our hideout. It's up this way. Arf! Okay, there's a dog. This church has been here for a long time. It's been here since before the city was even built, when this entire area was a forest. I don't know why, but this church began the Festival of the Hunt tradition. Anything I can loot in here? That's all I care about. The Festival of the Hunt is neither a joke nor a traditional pastime. It is a way of life. It draws on your deepest strength and redefines courage. Be aware. That guy's sleeping. Same. Up top. Oh, can I actually climb that thing? <laughs> nice. Leather plate. All right. Excuse me. Don't mind me. Thank you. I had no idea that was there. Who are you? Tiny chef. I'm the head chef at Lindblom Castle. I demand the finest ingredients for all of my dishes. Okay. Alright, let's go look for our hideout. Vivi's shopping. Wow, this nut smells really good. I think I'll buy one. This place has a lot of unusual things. Is this food? It looks good. It looks like the sesame buns that Grandpa used to make. Festival of the Hunt sale ends today. Wow, there's gonna be a festival! Oh no. Hi, I wanna buy this. Oh, are you friends with the Moogles? Huh? That item is called a Kupo Nut. Kupo nuts are Moogle's favorite food. Oh, I didn't know that. I think that's the last one. Go ahead, honey, it's on me. Really? Thank you. Um, what is this festival of the hunt like? Well, we let a bunch of animals loose and... Oh, there's gonna be a lot of animals. It sounds like fun, thank you. What's so fun about fighting savage beasts? Wait a minute, did I say animals again? Uh-oh.
probably check out the other districts before I go to the hideout. What were the other options? Industrial district? Thank you for the hydrate and stretch. remember if there's anything. There probably is. Anything to loot. Hey, a cat. The store has moved to Falgar Plaza in the business district. Okay. There's nothing here. Anything back there? Sid the Eighth, who developed the first mist-powered engine, had a pet cat. Since then, a lot of engineers went out to get cats. I have my own too. Her name is Gypsy. Oh, hey, we found the bar. Ah, nothing like an icy cold root beer after a hard day's work. I just want to talk to the bartender. Okay. Grandma's been busy selling her pickles lately, and she hasn't given me any attention. Sometimes I think she loves her pickles more than she loves me. Wow, getting some tea on Grandma Pickle. Ugh, what the heck was in that dish? I guess that place has sus food. You know what this is? You're not gonna believe it. It's a steam engine. It's still a prototype. The house gets hot as hell while this baby's running. That's the only problem. I'm getting thin from sweating so much. Well, yeah, don't put an engine inside. Mimic card. That's the first new card we've gotten since the uh, beginning of the game. And another steepled hat. How about that? There'll be another thousand gil for us. All right, well, there wasn't much here, but it was worth it. Now on to the theater district. Steam engine. I'm lost again. Where is the princess? The town is big, the castle is big, why does everything have to be so big? Pardon me, can you tell me where I am? What? You're lost? Gee, you're a soldier for crying out loud. This is the bridge that connects the castle and the airship docks. That big building in front of us houses the docks. What is that large airship? Amazing, isn't it? It's the Hildegard II. Since it is equipped with a steam engine developed by the Regent himself, it can fly without mist. Impossible. How can it fly without being powered by mist? What cave did you just crawl out of? This is the age of steam power. The source of steam power is water. It's much safer than mist. Hehehe, <laughs> a bright future awaits us all. this. I forgot about this guy. I'm looking forward to the festival. I'm going to use the festival as the theme for my next painting. There's something to do with him later. The 50th annual Lindblom exhibit. This year's winner gets to paint on the church walls. I like to come here and feed the pigeons, says the pigeon lover. It's the little things in life. 
She's late. What's Marissa doing? Oh, hell. <laughs> Is that her? You're gonna go see Lowell too? Yeah. You know, I'm not surprised. Even if I were a guy, I'd still be in his fan club. He's so great. <laughs> oh no. It's all coming back to me now. Fan club chairman, stop pushing! Hey, who are you? Who am I? I'm Sir Zidane of Tantalus, the greatest bandit in the world. Have you ever heard of him? No. Go away, stop bothering us. Ouch. Hurry up! Where's Lowell? How much longer do we have to wait? Please, he'll be here in a minute. Hold my hand, kiss me! <laughs> Hi everyone! I love you! What's so special about him? Thanks. I love you guys. And then he just fucking runs away. See you all again! Ouch. Damn, I can't see a thing. I remember this. Thank you for coming to see Moogle Wannabe 2, Koopo. We don't care about you and your stupid show. We came to see Lowell. Phew. Hey, you're... No, I'm not! Yow! I remember this. Poor guy. It's tough being popular. I should know. Just gotta remember where the hell he goes. We were supposed to meet here. Where is she? A big Moogle just walked by, heading towards the station. He looked kind of dizzy. Hey, there he is. You were at the theater. Oh, please, don't tell anyone about this. Please, I'll give you this. Autograph. Nice. Thanks as always, Michael. Jeez, I can't finish my painting with you bothering me every day. Come on, forget about the painting. Let's work together. You can express your artistic talents on stage, too. Don't ever compare your acting with my art. If you're done with your business, get out of here. Fine. What a waste of talent. I totally forgot about the whole Moogle suit thing. I love it. Alright. I figured there wouldn't be anybody here. It looks like no one's been here for a while. Go back. What to do, what to do. Jeez, is that late already? I wonder what Dagger's doing. What can I do? A bell's ringing. A performance in the theater district must have just ended. Is there anything you need, your highness? No, thank you. I'm thinking of going outside and having a look around. I'm sorry, Your Highness, but we cannot grant this request. Right now, there are many people coming to Lindblom for the Festival of the Hunt. Therefore, things are quite chaotic in town, making security rather difficult. Also, very few people know of your presence here. It's for your own safety. Please understand. Okay, I understand. I can't stand around sitting like this. I didn't come here to be protected. I just want to help Mother. There he is. I told you he'd be here. Why didn't you tell us that you were back? We're in Tantalus too, you know. What? Yeah. Uncle Baku said if we find some treasure, we can be in Tantalus too. Yeah, check this out. Wow, those are Trick Sparrow's wings. That sure is some treasure you've found, all right. Yay! Yippee! So, did the plan work? Yeah. Princess Garnet is at the castle. Really? Wow. 
So what's she like? Is she cute? Did you ask her out yet? No. I think she's pretty busy. Plus, she's a princess and I'm a, you know, so I don't know. I bet she misses you. Yeah, you should go see her. Good luck. See ya. I wonder if she got to talk to Sid. Maybe I should go see her. Get some money. Mini Bermesia. I forget what that's for, but we got it. Looked like a doll. Baku and his crew. What are they up to? Achoo! Hey, look. Phew, that tasted good. I can't believe we found a way out of Evil Forest before it got petrified. It's all thanks to our bro who pointed out the river before he took the map to, Z to, D to Zidane. What do we do now, boss? We gotta save our brother. You're right. But first, we'll let the guys outside drink some water from the lake. Senna, bring them over. Hey, about blank. I think it's better that Evil Forest stays petrified. Are you serious? Don't get me wrong. I ain't saying this out of concern for our safety. Then why? I'm sure he wouldn't want to be saved if it meant Evil Forest was going to be restored too. You're right. We gotta start looking. There's gotta be another way to cure his petrification somehow. We ain't too late. We gotta do what we can. I got you, boss. Save that boy right now. Hey, Cinna, what are you doing over there? This spring water might make some good coffee. I'll get the fixins. Do I gotta remind you what happens to members who don't listen to their boss? N no, please, not that. I'll bring everyone over right now. Get out of my way. Said it was on the right somewhere. Moogle suit, okay. Alright, so he wants to go see Garnet. Whoops. But instead of going to the castle, I'm gonna go to the business district. So I can save at the uh, inn. And then that way I can deal with all the uh, synthesis running back and forth, money grinding off stream. But yeah, see, Baku and them, they didn't forget about Blank. They're looking for a way to save him. All right. As soon as I walked into the inn, the controller started vibrating again, and it's just it's just going. It's it's just I know you can't see it, but it's it's just vibrating nonstop. <laughs> I don't know why this keeps happening. Um I'll do it again, and whatever. Alright, so I'm gonna stop here. Um, so that next time we can get into the Festival of the Hunt and finishing the Lindblum section.